Welcome back, family. It's Shay Seeking from American Aborigines Unchained here on YouTube and Facebook. Um, and today we're going to talk about um, the mark of the beast. Um, I have been reading some things in the Bible, um, and then I started to look in a certain, several actually different directions um, when it comes to this information which led me back to looking at something that I had already previously thought <clears throat> about the mark of the beast. And again, um, the mark or the number is something that has you basically listed or um, taken in by the United States, which is a corporation, um, and the foundation um, or firmament that establishes itself upon a... Um, original groups of people all over the world. And again, we're in America, so this is what we're talking about today. Um, so it is a, a full reign, and I like to break it up as full reign, because you think friend or foe, and then um, I know that this God of uh, Genesis <clears throat> created men that look like him to preside over and to live east in the garden, which is where the United States is located in our garden here in the Americas. So, <clears throat> again, um, to reign and subdue and uh, replenish and till the earth. Um, also, some terms that are used, um, let's see, is to build a firmament, which is something like a foundation um, on top of. Um, because, again, if you go back to Genesis, it will say in the beginning when God began to create, um, that the earth was first a dark chaotic mass um and so this whole thing about these uh this mass or this vapor or gas or dark something carbon possibly um uh, even sulfur the uh even when it comes to uh if you think about it reminds me of something that these people were in this state of a consciousness or something and they had not been formed yet um and this means to be uh, graft, uh, grafted, uh, amalgamated, um, placed a rulership upon, um, and, um, these type of things. Okay. So in my eyes, okay. Cause again, I'm never here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm just simply sharing what it looks like to me with other like-minded people that are on this journey and looking to themselves first. Okay. Deeper than that, um, the connection to the source that is within you in the temple between your uh, two temples in your brain, your uh, first eye or third eye, um, and uh, your Kundalini uh, system or the current of it um, flowing to the top so that we can ascend and be in a, uh, what a religious or not a religious, what somewhat one would still look at that uh, religious information would be uh, someone who is Christ-like, okay? Because again, you would be in your higher self. So a lot of people think the most high God, but again, I showed you guys that Bible from the 1700s and it said that the most high God was, uh, I believe, King James and his father was God, okay? Now, a religious, religious person is going to look at that document and they're going to read that a totally different way and that's what they want to do. That's fine. But again, after breaking down all this information and seeing all the things that I've come across that I have shared with you guys and some of the stuff that I haven't had time to share because again, um, it's hard to uh, multitask and mom and all this other stuff and be a housewife and uh, working, you know, um, I'm also uh, an entrepreneur and I do different, um, I have a couple of different, you know, uh, things that I do on the background. So it's kind of difficult to, uh, again, I'm more of an artistic brain. So I don't, I'm not really good with uh, making uh, charts and stuff like that. Although I try to do those things sometimes, you know, it's um, hard to process this. I'm more of a speaker, more of a seer, and I kind of do better with flowing and using words to guide me along with the ancestors, okay, and the Im information that have, has been bestowed um, upon me and others in this time. Again, because there is no other savior than us. We are that Christ unit, um, or we are the ones that we have been waiting for, okay, um, to solve all these riddles and things like that. And again, everybody is going to do this differently, coming from different ancestors, different guides, different information, different 
points of view coming out of different levels of this oppression and all uh, all of the indoctrination. So again, we're all finding our way. But I think that if we just speak our truth and speak that energy and light, that we will be able to um, uh, uh, use information that's being spoken by these uh, these soul siblings is what I call them, regardless your race or age or group, um, so-called race. Okay. Um, again, I am willing to listen to and to obtain information from anyone, um, because that's just how I am. And I can process who is being genuine or not. Um, and I can discern these things. Okay. So again, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and look into this um, because hopefully I'll be able to guide you through the many levels, but you guys know how it works on this channel. I give you what I got. It may not be all that I have, and I may plan on giving you all that I have, but again, it doesn't always work that way. I might drop this here and go off to something else, but hopefully we have left some things here that trigger your interest um, and make you want to do your own research and dig a little bit deeper. Okay? So um, this this thing here says... Um, Social Security, the international mark of the beast, uh, the global Social Security system. Did you know that over 130 countries in the world now have a Social Security insurance program? Did you know that Social Security is run and regulated by the United Nations and its World Bank? Okay. And again, uh, nations uh, remind me also of uh, uh, like when we get into tribes and groups and nations, all of these things still have been formed by these people. See, and that's what I'm saying to create. It's kind of like how uh, they said that God confu uh, made everybody have different language to confuse the people so they couldn't build this temple up to God. So again, that language is uh, with me. That means different texts. So I can look into the Quran, the Nag Hammadi, the, uh, the um, uh, uh, different types of scriptures, uh, the, the the Colburn Bible, the Book of the Dead, um, you know, w using all of these different elements, okay, in order to uh, obtain the information and discern um, and use using uh, logic, reason, wisdom, you know, um, all of these things um, are, I feel, have to do with the, uh, when it comes to the Tower of uh, Babel or Babel, <laughs> um, with them mixing up a language, it's not just uh, you're, you know, someone speaking, uh, English and Spanish and things like that is also mixing up all of the information and spreading it out within myth mythology, history. Okay. Because that's all this is. Mm -hmm. Um, and also by language and also by groups and, cr and creating some sense of pride in these different groups of these people that represent their flag. And, you know, they, represent their people and it's it it is a way of also causing division right you know what i'm saying it's also a way of causing division okay and then it's also a way to keep um to oust another group of people which is the so-called african american who is the real uh who <clears throat> excuse me most of these people are actually the american indians or the american origines that were here in this land prior to colonization or prior to the uh abode of God or the firmament or establishment or foundation. Um, okay. So, um, anyhow, um, yeah. So what they've done is just mix up everything. They put truth and mythology. Uh, religion is another way that I separate those two, the Bible from religion, because the Bible is just some words that someone wrote and uh, people may say, oh, it's the white man's this, but everything that you consume in reading material is the white man's. Even if there is a so-called black author, he has gone to school and he is scarlet, he has his scholarship from these groups of people that have written this information. So the only way to see it differently is to tap into your higher self and your higher uh, consciousness and deal with the guides and the ancestors um, and that uh, God that is within you or that, like I said, that um, crown or corona. Um, when we're dealing with your, um, pineal and, and things like this. Okay. So, um, anyhow, after that long, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm just trying to explain it, um, best as I can. Okay. Um, and it says, however, um, wait, have you ever heard of the International Social Security Association, ISSA? 
And did you know that the United States Social Security Administration, so admin, add, so again, it just makes me think that something has been added on um, ministration or menstruation. Listen, I, I'll be going places, okay? <laughs> and I'll keep that to myself for now. <clears throat> has international treaties and uh, uh, agreements through the United Nations with other countries and their social security systems, okay? Well, it's all true. But before we get into that, let's make sure that we understand just what this social uh, program really means. Uh, being a United States citizen, okay, because again, remember they asked you that on your driver's license application, which um, I hear that you have the right to travel, okay, unless you are working for some type of corporation or something like this, you really don't need a driver's license. It's just a way for them to obtain money from you over and over again, every single person. It's also a mark, you know, in, in a sense. So um, a lot of people that talk about the straw man and a lot of people that talk about different things speak on this. But again, I'm not, a, I don't specialize in that. I just take the information and I, um, uh, ingest it and then um, if it fits what I'm seeing with everything else then that's just what I feel that it is um, in order to take those steps you would have to see who who will be working with that type of stuff okay um, I don't want to be the one that be telling people what they need to do as far as signing anything any documentation um, I would just like to relinquish myself from all of it <laughs> so okay uh, let's see. Oh, social program really means being a United States citizen with a social security number. Um, it is so, so much more than you think. Okay. And it says, uh, social security, the mark of the beast, excuse me, the mark of the beast is upon all American citizens. Okay. Um, Well, I wouldn't say American. Um, I would say all um, citizens of the United States, right? Um, because America and the United States, again, no matter how they've cooked it up to be, I feel are two different entities, okay? Um, yeah. So I, as I would look at this, it's like on the surface level as American um, or America would be of a sovereign or a natural or... Um, people in a right um, that have been deceived where I look at the United States as something that had joined on to it and is a certain portion that it has gained control over everyone by using different tactics and given the illusion of uh, inclusion in order to not force you to come on to them and deliver everything you have over to them and sign your life over to them and owe and be indebted to them and make vows like voting to them but to um um to falsely mislead uh say in the south when they told indians that in order to vote you have to be a citizen so you're giving up your uh, your I don't like using sovereign, but you're giving up your, uh, your rights, uh, your, uh, natural rights. Okay. Um, not natural. Not, we're not talking about naturalization and naturalizing people because again, that would be grafting foreigners into an American, um, entitling them to things that, uh, Americans should be getting, but were, uh, given to others that came in. OK, uh, foreign alien immigrant people. OK, so um, it says and the federal corporation named the United States is that beast. OK, so again, um, how can I break this down? OK, OK, you know what? I'll do video clips in another video. We'll just read this and then I'll give you video clips that uh, bring me to. Um, certain things in the scriptures um, that um, also coincide with this um, about the number of his name and all this other stuff like this. Okay. So, oh, sorry, let me get this thing out of the way. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, let's see. And the mark of the beast is the number. Okay. Because again, the Social Security is split up by three different levels. 
Uh, one is a group number, one is a serial number, and the other number, I think, at one time, it was used to uh, document where uh, the person was born, like what region or what area. Um, and uh, what was I going to say also about that? But I ran into a woman, um, a German woman um, that I know, um, and she was speaking about how badly they were treated when they came to the Americas and how the World Fair was a place that they brought foreigners in to show them a good time so that they can begin to want to conform to the Americas. And if they went through whatever process, they would be able to in be entitled to certain land um, and farms and things like that when they came in and that these people didn't have to have a social security number at that time. Um, that, uh, and this is talking about her and her ancestors, which would be a general, she's maybe like 70 or 80, maybe. Um, and you know, this is talking about, she was telling me about her, like the 1900s, like, <laughs> um, situation and everything. And that, um, some of her, uh, her ancestors didn't even get a social security number until they were, um, about to die or 80 or, you know, it's just a lot of things that, you know, I'm just paying attention to when it's talking about this whole thing, okay? One of the greatest misconceptions of the biblical prophecy is the, that the thing referenced in the Bible as the Antichrist, okay? And in so many other fictional tales of said Antichrist um, will someday be incarnated as a single living entity, okay? Um, a beast in the guise of a human that will fool the people of the earth into loving and following that beast into a virtual, a virtual, God, okay, a virtual hell and enslavement of earth. So again, this, this might have happened already. Again, biblical times is going to say what it's saying, but I'm looking at even, like I said, when it comes to the whole John Brown, it would be wise to look into that particular person um, and the whole thing about him and Abraham Lincoln, the mixture in their family, the fact that both of these people were supposedly looked at as a savior type of being, the fact that they would be possibly human um, because again, this will be man with a hue. And I mean, if we just want to be, you know, basic with it, <laughs> but again, human always makes me, uh, kind of, uh, question and look deeper because again, as a matter of fact, I have something else I want to share with you guys when it comes to this, because I think human is that, 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 uh, uh, group. Okay. That would be, um, a mixture of man, okay, and someone else, another group of indigenous or native or possibly original people. I'm very serious about dissecting groups of people when we're speaking because they just want to think, make you think, oh, we're talking about all the humans on there. Well, human doesn't include every single one. When, when we're talking we the people, it does not include every single one. Um, when we're talking about animal, animal also includes people or humans or groups of beings, like a person or whatever. Um, uh, so again, it, 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 it mixes me up a little bit. Okay. Because there are some, uh, portions of the Lincoln history that, um, again, are, uh, have to do with darker hue people. And then there are also in John Brown. So again, mm, the father in heaven also is the father of the land and the people and the booty and the women and the daughters or da daughters and sons. Um, this is the father of all, just like Eve is going to be the mother of all, which again, in my eyes represents after a couple of these things had happened, um, the first lady and the help meet or the helper would be the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The vice president in a, a president in a sense, when we're talking Genesis two. Okay. Um, 
So, and then again, in my eyes, that references or represents the Trinity of today that you're going to be in the impression that we're talking about something totally different. People will say in Egyptian times, you know, that whatever we have to be careful because things change with the times some titles were originally attached to original groups but have been taken over by foreign groups um, because again god put them to rain on you and rain doesn't also mean just rain with raindrops it means to uh rule over okay again we're, we're going to talk about this whole thing in a second okay um that will fool the people see now, this is the thing. This right here is just making me because, again, we say history repeats itself. But again, the same people and the same uh, players are at the top pulling the strings. So, again, these same bloodlines with all your records and their records and all the information that they have on the, the so-called world. They know how to do this. And like I said before. Rather, people might think these people are reincarnated. They never died. And they're some type of vampire. Uh, alien type of race um or rather these people are just acting out parts in a play because the world is a stage it doesn't matter you can go and every time you look at something you should drive up and down that road and see where things actually really fit okay so um the fact that we're saying that he th that this person of a human why couldn't we just continue to use people if we're going to talk about people here see see so a beast in the guise of a human, okay? And now this is talking about a, a living entity. And again, when something is single, like thine eye can be single, but a lot of people can have that eye that is single. So again, when, even when we're talking about um, this single living entity could be also a group or a house or a church, see, um, or a body of something, okay? So... Um, Again, a beast in the guise of human, okay? So, again, this is talking about the beast of the field, okay? In the guise of a human, okay? That will fool the people, okay? The people of, like the United States of. It's very important to look in detail of this of, okay? Earth into, now these are the people of the earth of earth not the earth itself and again this person may not know whatever whatever but the way that things line up with me it always works out that way because i'm just dissecting these things first and then if it doesn't make sense that way i'll go back to saying okay well this person is using it in this sense right okay so again the people of the earth are those who are on top of or have been placed in front of like they are the beginning when you were already here you just had not been formed by this god he hadn't taken your dna or the dust thereof to create the beings that would ultimately after three generations or so start to look like him so that they can put up in the house of god okay or in the god governing forces or okay OK, which is just a higher elevated. The heavens is an elevated place. Um, didn't say it was in the clouds necessarily, but OK. Um, into loving and following that best. I mean, sorry, into loving and following that beast into a virtual hell and enslavement. So this is making me think about Donald Trump is what I was going to be talking about. OK, in these times, because the words are not just there. Actually, when we're reading the Bible, you can look at the first chapter, the first sentence, and it will tell you in most of these books who this message is meant for in what times. OK, and that these people should apply these things to their lives. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't read that to see who to see what this entity or this writing is telling these groups of people as to why they would be thinking the way that they are. Right. So I can see where I fit in in that plot. It doesn't mean that I have to take on the information that was given, because, again, that information was would be specifically marked for a certain group of people and a certain time period and such. But it doesn't mean that it can't teach me something now, today in the future, because I don't look at the Bible as religion. I don't even deal with religion. OK, because I see it for what it is. It is the thing that has been able to alter your mind as you read the scripture. In order to give you the perception or a false notion of what we're talking about, a allegory, it's a sense of allegory, putting these images in the Bible, whatever. Okay, 
So to give you some kind of uh, uh, illusion of what it is. OK, at, rather than looking at the terms and seeing what they meant from the beginning of time and so on. OK, and it's funny how even when we're talking about etymology, if you look at the top of the um, um, if you look at the emblem of the etymology, especially this one here online, you'll see the lion with the wings. You see what I'm saying? And it's making me think about um, another section in the Bible where it says something about the the lion um, that had wings like an eagle that looked or um, had eagle eagle wings. Um, or um, that seemed like they might have been plucked out, okay? Um, and if you look at a couple of coat of arms of the eagle, um, I, I hope to show you guys some later on, if not here, but on the Facebook, uh, in the Facebook group of some of these birds that are, uh, some of these lions that have blood dripping down the side as if, like I said, someone had ripped out the thing, uh, the wings, okay? So it's, it, it's really deep in, on many different levels here, okay? But the fact that they're going to fool these people, so these are the inhabitants, those who had came in in their habitat, they're in a habitation above or on top of or in front of the earth, which are the original people that have used ruling to make a straight line to chop those people off from being a part of the abode of God and being a part of anything that matters. Okay. All right. So this Antichrist is going to fool these people of the earth into loving and following that beast. And then it's talking about virtual. So even when we're talking about this whole thing of everything going to biometrics uh, and everything going to all of these types of things that they want to implant in you to make sure that there'll never be another uprising or earthquake that would be, again, something that would be resonating from the earth itself or the people, which is, again, why they have you covering up your mouth right now. This is a spiritual warfare in a sense, okay? It's just like Biden said, they're fighting for the soul of America. See, so again, <laughs> OK, you would have to be like I said, maybe watching some of my videos to kind of see where I'm coming from, where I uh, talk about this stuff in more depth. OK, in the past. All right. So, again, this this kind of sounds like what's going on right now, because a lot of people are going to be fooled into following. Now, we could be talking about Trump or Biden. See. Um, at this point in time um, would be able to fit into this this narrative here possibly and there could have been someone else in the past you see what I'm saying see see just like they say that Trump um, uh, is uh, I can't remember it has something to do with Cyrus and all of these other things in the biblical text okay so again that's why I said I don't I can't tell you who, how, whatever, if these people die or don't, or, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you that. What I, what I can say is that I feel like this is what we're looking at. If, even if the person is not reincarnated, the information is, okay? So, um, so it's going to get them into a virtual hell and, and see, cause they have to separate the two because again, one, everybody else is in one group. All foreign people that have their ancestry tied to another country for a fact and can either were born there or document that or have the language or information in their family somewhere um, from grandma talking about she was 14 when she came over here on these ships, which, again, these people were not just coming here for fun. They were Slav people, Slavnik or Slavic people that were coming over here for servitude. OK. All right. To whatever it could have been for um, the so-called. American or United States, um, or it could have been for a, another foreign, another, because they're they are too, another foreign entity or country like Russia or wherever they would have been come Italy, things like this. Okay. So again, and this virtual is really just killing me here. Okay, and the enslavement of the Earth. So again, the Earth is you. <laughs> OK, you are the support beam or system that they are sitting on. You are the ones they harvest energy, your uh, um, they your vicar, your um, uh, they harvest goods from not just our land, meaning the Americas as this portion of this landmass or this plane, 
okay? It's also talking about from you because a lot of things that they have that are being entitled to them from you. There are probably funds that they that are supposed to be entitled for you that they are using for them and their children to keep you in a certain, to keep you stagnant and keep you trapped under the surface while they all masquerade and stomp on top of you. So again, this is um, nothing new and this makes more sense, like I said, the people of the earth, okay? This person is human, because again, this human mm -hmm. and the people of the earth, okay, it's not saying the earth itself, OK, um, these could be, like I said, bloodlines that came through the womb of an American origin woman in, in for in order to have rights or entitlement to certain allotments of land. OK, <clears throat> their bloodline is mixed. Some of these people that came here did not mix with the, the people here, the inhabitants or the indigenous or uh, original people. They only made it with their people that they brought over. OK, and some of them can't mate at all because they are eunuchs or they have been altered um, in some form or fashion. And so, again, they'll use you to kidnap your babies and shit so that they can use them for whatever horrible and other things that they would like. OK, but I am here to provide you with an alternative and more realistic view. I am here to say, matter of fact, look at this. I did say it, didn't I? This is Social Security. Okay, so this is on Reality Blog. It's a blog, I think, from 2000, 2012, if I'm not mistaken, that somebody wrote that I ran across, okay? So we know that this enslavement, um, because you were not slaves, okay? At, at first, okay, you, you have been put in a snare. You are more like prisoners of war. OK, because prisoners of war, someone when someone comes in and consumes the land and the, the resources and the people, OK, that they will be called prisoners of war because you were taken in on your own land. This is why they want you to dream of Africa, because they don't want you to pay attention to this is your own land here. OK, they want you to be the foreigner and the outcast and them to be tied to the Americas. OK. Hence the swapping of the term. Um, or um, manipulation of the term American, okay? So, let's see. And even mental slavery is enslavement, okay? Who, who's to say they really had all these chains? I don't really think that they did, so. And the mar marking and branding, I think that was also maybe not literal, okay? I think it was made, they want you to look at that stuff so it can make you horrified and stagnant. Um, I think that it's talking about also taking on names or something else. I don't naturally think that they were doing this. Okay. All right. So you had a whole bunch of men here that didn't know how to clean themselves. How would they keep, a, and, they, and they make it seem like you were dirty and stinky. So how can they keep these things clean so people would not get infections if they're branding every fucking body? And why don't we see the images of these people? I've only seen one image of some man that supposedly had his back whipped open um, in history. Um, again, why isn't there more? You know what I'm saying? Drawings, sketches, whatever. Okay. So, again. I am here to say that the biblical Antichrist is upon us, um, is already upon us. And again, the Bible, the scripture does say that he is here. And the scripture also says that Satan is ruling things from heaven. I thought he was kicked out of heaven and all this other stuff. But no, he, it says Satan is ruling things from heaven. And now if he's in heaven doing something, and again, it seemed like this thousand years of trapping Satan or the serpent, or which are all, again, it's hard to, manip to guide through these things because it's all been manipulated and who's the what, okay? Because I don't think that they're the same, okay? Um, and... Uh, <clears throat> If he's ruling things from heaven, who the hell is down in hell torturing all the souls for the rest of the time? Okay. Just saying. Okay. So it is not a single person, but a government uh, run by the <clears throat> consented or oh, run by and consented by the people. So when it says that they have unalienable rights that have been granted th to them by the people that they govern in a sense, you see what I'm saying? Okay. So again, these so-called white people do have some type of power or some type of uh, reference when it's talking about this government because it's really truly was built for them and they are in it. 
which again, you don't have the same thing as why they can kill you. People of authority can kill you and get away with it. Not just other slaves, because these people are slaves too. <laughs> They've been lied to as well. Okay, so-called white folks. So the, another slave cannot kill another slave because you're killing off the property of your god governing force. But a person of authority that was given to them by God and then give, God gave to the Congress and the, you know, come on now, the Supreme Court and all these other people that give the rule to the presidents. To, so let's think about it in real, real life here. Okay. It is not a living, breathing human or demon, but is instead all humans uh, via their consent to it. So again, when you're voting for someone, you're giving them a vow and you're telling them that you are going to obey and honor them in sickness and in health, whether they kill you or not, whether they care about you or not, whether they give you shit or not. And this is why you're not getting anything. Okay. Now these so-called white folks might be able to go ahead and toss up some shit, but in the end, that is not you. They'll give you the impression that you can do this also, but you will be the ones left over when the National Guard comes in, like in Kenosha, and they didn't arrest anybody while shit was getting burned down. But as soon as all those people that came in from different places to burn shit down, and I think they had some type of ticket as to who and what to burn, in my eyes, <clears throat> by the time they were talking about bringing in... Uh, uh, Trump was luring them. Oh, if the governor wants this to stop immediately, then let us know. We can say, don't think shit ain't going on behind the door. That was him basically saying, mm hmm, yeah, when you wanted to stop, then I'll stop it. But who started it? They know, right? So when these people leave, once all the people that was burning shit left after two to three days, then they say, want to leave in the National Guard. By that time, those people had already fled. Those people had already fled, okay? And now the the people on the streets were just the regular old people down there marching that was getting arrested. Then they started to arrest people. You see what I'm saying? So don't don't. That's why I don't fall into this shit, this snare of going out there doing that. I just don't. OK. And. Um, what was I going to say? And I'll, I'll mind you that a month before that, I'm in a county over from there or pretty close to Kenosha. Again, I still have a house in Kenosha. Um, but uh, I saw the police with my own eyes. I was going out. It was during the time when everything was shut down pretty much and you couldn't really get anything. And I was trying to find some medicine for my baby, my grandbaby. Um, and um, I was out kind of late and I was riding down the street and all of a sudden I seen like a van, a police van. OK, then I saw a police car. And then I'm like, okay, what are they doing? Why are they driving this way or whatever? I'm like, okay, whatever. I ain't got nothing to worry about. So I pull up to a stop sign around um, this area, like a mall area, okay? And um, all I see is kids in cars riding around, hanging out the fucking car. They on top of the roof. They just joyriding, acting a damn fool. And I'm just thinking, what is going on here? Maybe this is who they're looking for, right? So um, in front of them, following behind them, I see another police van. Just riding behind them like nothing. So these children, uh, I'm at the stop sign about to go and they just come down. Nobody stops at the stop sign like they're supposed to. They're joy riding. They're acting crazy. Music is loud and people hanging out of the cars, riding around as if they're being chauffeured by the police. And I said, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and they almost hit me, actually. Cause they were driving crazy. They almost hit me. And I was surprised that no, neither of these police, the ones that were behind me, the one that was in front of me, they were just talking on walkie talkies. Nobody put any lights on to go and chase these children. Actually, it looked as though these people were riding around joy riding with these children. Now, what was this that was going on? Could these be, uh, people that are being, uh, trained for some type of thing that was to come maybe a month and a half later. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Because when I went down to Kenosha, okay, one day to, uh, I think it was pick up or drop off one of my children. I ended up riding down the street and I saw the same thing in real life, in real fucking time. The same type of event 
that I was exposed to when it, it was really dark. Nobody was out really, you know, everything was shut down. So people weren't really out like that driving at night. And when I, when I almost got hit by this group of people, like 35 cars or so, right? Okay. So the same, t uh, tactical or the same type of things that were, they were doing, which I feel like must've been some type of training for this thing. They were doing it in real time during the so-called riots or the, whatever was going on down there. So I pay attention to shit and I put shit together real quick. So I'm just saying, it's just so funny that I ran into that. <laughs> and so when it came and I saw it, it kind of like hit me kind of hard. Cause I'm like, wait a minute. I've heard of this type of training because even around that time, I noticed that there were some military people that were parked, um, that were at this park doing some kind of training. And then it made me think about the Jade Helm training and all of this other training that they were training these military people to deal with citizens. Okay. A couple of years back that people are calling cons conspiracy, but again, was it? Okay. So I'm sorry for getting my apologies for getting off subject but i just thought that i could throw that in just in case some of you might have seen some strange things going on in your area and so that now you can put two to two together to tell you that somebody seen the shit too okay <clears throat> all right it is not the uh all right sorry uh, let's go back it is not a single person but a government run by and uh consented to by the people it is not a living Okay. It is not a living. Hmm. Because then, you know, the breath, all about the breath and the breath of life. And I was reading something else in, about that, that kind of gave me some more insight. But, um, again, you're not living. You're not living creatures. Living creatures have protection or they're in the construct or the, uh, world. OK, <laughs> you're in the shield, in the hell, literally in their syst systematically. OK, because you've been tormented forever here in the shield. <laughs> OK. All right. So um, which is a portion of society. OK. Ousted or ostracized or cut off or sent away. OK. Or cast out. OK. Of the kingdom. All right. OK, so it is not a living, breathing human or demon, but is instead all humans via their consent to it or via. OK, sorry. Um, it is not the devil reincarnated again. Always reference devil to darkness. OK, that's what they do. When it said that Satan was a morning star and Jesus was also a morning star. Okay. All right. And it also says that Jesus, David was a begotten son of God. But it also says Jesus was a begotten son of God. But it didn't say that this person and the seed. Okay. I have, <clears throat> I don't recall that standing out so much to me. Right. I'm not going to say it doesn't say it because the Bible says a lot of stuff that I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't keep the whole damn words in my head. Right. But it doesn't put emphasis on that to clarify that. I don't feel like. OK. But they do talk a lot about the seed and we have to know that the seed was planted in the land. Some of the seed was planted in the earth. OK. But is in fact an incarnate body, which could be a group of legal codes that has created the mark of the beast through the people's ignorance of the laws. Again, lack of knowledge here. Because we're not the only ones that have been deceived. It's just what levels have people been deceived upon? See, there's many levels. And the levels that uh, that the citizens the that that the uh, foreign citizens have been deceived is not as great as the level that the original archetypical woman or woman and man 
uh, have suffered. Okay. Ignorance of the law that they create. And I am here to say that it is, um, that it is not God that will save us from the Antichrist, but only our collective non-consent through non-participation in this system that will save us from ourselves. And so this I like very much because I do believe everyone can take this into uh, account. Um, because again, if the bottom low hanging fruit and the outcasts don't contribute to their system, they don't have one. <laughs> so when we rise mentally to the most high self, they fall. And this is why they are manipulating you and have built a system of mass manipulation and indoctrination around us for generations now. Okay. This may be our end times, I think, means the end of them if we can get our shit together. Okay. So if it is true that God gave men. See, and, and remember, he gave men or man, which is the foreign man that will come into these lands. OK, foreign groups in general, androgynous beings, whatever. OK. He gave him power over all these things, the earth, the, the beast of the field, the fowl of the air. You know what I'm saying? OK, so <laughs> this is not talking about anything but a governing system. OK. So he put him as a ruler over all these things or the, the things of the kingdom, like of the United States. Right. OK. If it is true that God gave men the gift and the curse of having free will. Then it. Excuse me, must also be true that God only helps those who helps themselves. OK, so I guess this is the person's, uh, you know, uh, whatever. We're going to go ahead and take a break. We're going to do the, the etymology here on um, a couple of things, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and come back with all the other regulations and things that are in that article, okay? So anti, okay? All right. Beginning in anti from 1788, originally in reference to anti-federalist in the in U, uh, U.S. politics in 1830 of the U.S. anti-Masonic political party. And I think that maybe um, I don't know if it was called this. I think it, it was uh, it was another term, I think, but that was made by John Adams, I believe. Uh, that was a party to go against these uh, people here. Wait, economy, mo monopoly. Wait, okay, anti against in the economic monopoly. Hmm, that's why I like to look at the other terms. Hmm, American English legalized abortion from da -da -da -da. Um, and be careful when we talk about these things like abortion too, because it, it's a lot of these things have dual meanings and we don't realize that. So anti-word forming element of Greek uh, origin, meaning against, opposed, of opposite, instead shortened to ant, which reminds me, remi I'm trying to rush, so, um, reminds me of the antediluvian, ant before, diluvian, okay, the flood, times, okay, and it says 1640, around 1640, which is around the time of some of this shit, right, okay? There was a lot of things going on in the 1600s, so 1620s, 1640s, all up and through there. And we got to get right what was going on because some of the stuff when like they are talking about the 20 and some odd Africans that came here, we better be sure they're not talking about the white Negro or the white Slavnik or the white Africans from North Africa that were brought over into the, the land. OK. The, the husband men and things. OK. So. Because I think something here is going to say something about husband men, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So over against opposite instead in the place of kind of like the term American 1828. Okay. So someone else have been given your 
nationality, your nativity, your standing, okay? As good as, okay? So it's just saying this could work instead of, okay? Um, at the price of, for the sake of, um, in return, um, against, in front of, before, okay? Ant forehead, okay? Front, before. Let's, I want to just do this quick, so... You can stop and do this on your own if you want. Um, opposed to opposite, the ancient, uh, sorry, accent remains on the anti, okay? Against opposed, the accent remains on the element. Anti-Christ, wait, anti-Christian, anti-slavery, okay? Ant, okay, front in your forehead. So even this mark in your forehead, like what are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> um, in front. So there, there is a spiritual way of looking at this, Mark. Okay. Um, which I think that is talking about your third eye. Um, and then in the uh, physical sense, those that came before this head. Okay. Uh, before the head of states. Okay. Like the so-called Negro negroid looking figures that are on some coins and things of old times so that would be interesting to look at a lot of coins i'm about to order a book on ancient coins so i can look at some things like that okay um and again on money and currency and stuff like that um and then you think about um hmm, even when it comes to legalities and standing um legally law or whatnot okay um so with derivatives meaning in front of before, okay, prefix upper, upper of a shoe or boot. Mm. Let's see, a boundary, end, border, boundary, opposite, over, against, opposite, before, okay, in front of, against, okay, alongside, um, and against, on to. So again, when they're saying these people, you inhabitants of the earth or shit like that, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's best make reference the way that it, it, it is, really. Okay. So anti, now uh, we did that already. Okay, we did this. I had it set up where I had the links already ready, but... Um, Okay, the Christ um, is the anointed, okay, all right, Messiah, okay, Greek Christos, again, uh, the anointed, okay, rub, anoint, okay, um, in the primitive church, it was a title and used with the definite article, but from an early period, it was used without it and regarded as a part of the proper name of Jesus. Hmm. It was treated as a proper name of Old English, but which the Bible was written in, might I add, but not regularly capitalized until 1700s. So why is some of your Bibles having it capitalized? Because you have the later version, obviously. Uh, Irish missionary work in England. Now, is this talking about the English colonies or in England itself? Okay. Was rare before. Capitalization was in the 1400s, not fixed. Da, 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 da. Healer, savior, um, as an oath or strong exclamation, surprise, dismay. Hmm, do not be dismayed. Hmm. Mystical sex as familiest, uh, edge it towards a verb, uh, Christ it, Christ like. Okay. So this is talking about, um, Christ, cross, a mark of the cross, uh, cut printed stamped or anything okay these are just related uh terms that i'm just breezing through real quick okay all right okay so we want to look at this term here because even the smearing of something on someone makes me think of that Im that image that i showed of you guys of theodore roosevelt was being brought in front of people by one of the, uh, I, w I don't want to say which one, like a Booker T or somebody, I can't remember um, which one it was that brought him in front of this group of so-called black people. And it looked like either he was dark as hell, like he had some stuff, oil or something, like blackface was on him so that he can try to fool the people because, again, hair texture would have been tricky around that time. 
Okay. So it looked like he had something on his skin or something because most of the images that we see, he looks ghost white. So um, to see this image um, of him uh, in at this rally in front of so-called black people, I just wonder what, because again, some depend on, okay, a lot of this stuff depends on when images, when they were using sketching, when they were using cameras, when they were using television, things like this, okay? So... Um, in rural areas, these people would not be having, you know, access to newspapers and all all these other things or whatever. So that was just my thinking on that. Okay. So my fault. <laughs> to anoint uh, or besmear, mask, see? Okay. So also this to skim the cream off, the cream of the crop, see? And how we've been cut off. Just saying. Uh, mask, helmet, ghost uh low german um okay because you did have colored so-called colored um you know people in power at some point in time here too now okay so let's go ahead and did we look at that yeah we did okay and then we're going to look at this one last thing and i'm going to let you guys go okay anointed smear with oil a consecrated one from 1520, mm, anoint, okay, pour oil upon or smear with oil, smeared on, pass, smeared on. Again, if you look at some of the images of John Brown too, he had a dirty hue to him that looked kind of like it was something that was on his skin. If you look at Abraham Lincoln, you know, I know everybody has their own uh, thoughts of uh, Abraham Lincoln and all this stuff, because my thing is here on this channel is that things aren't as far from what they've laid out so they can't get confused. They're not as far from. It's the terms that have been changed. So we can go back and forth and say that, you know, and I do think that there um, are a dark version of these last names and a lighter version of these last names. And they came into that family, just like ancient Egypt. There was a darker uh, in ancient Egypt. It's talking about darker groups of people and it's talking about the Americas and in portions of that, what they would may call Egypt, um, or, um, Memphis or, um, what were the group of people, Mississippian cultures and things like that. So again, there's a lot of artifacts. There's lots of stuff. If you want to go out there and look on your own that have found that, that are Egyptian here, right here in the Americas. Okay. So again, they're talking about that. Okay. Uh, I don't even want to say like, well, I won't go as far as like saying Kush and everything, but I'm just, cause I'm trying to just give you a good on the surface look so you can look deeper if you want. Okay. Um, and then when we're talking about modern day Egypt, okay, this is the one that they talk about the most because it's talking about once the group of people were infiltrated. Okay. All right. So this grease or oil smeared on for medicinal purposes. Hmm. I'm thinking if it if if it was to ease the earth from quaking, um, making them think that it was one of their people that they were voting for for some kind of seat or something, and come to find out it was not possibly, okay. Is was this one of the tricks of the trade, okay? The Cloverdale Bible in reference to Christ, see, uh, Chrisma, um, has spiritualized the word anointed, whatever, whatever, okay. So, um, you know. Just wanted to look at that oil mingled with balm, a sacred ointment consecrated and used in church rites. Okay, Krishna kind of like sound like Krishna. Um, and why his skin is blue? Hmm, I don't know. And ungent, I'm about to say agent. My fault. <laughs> Anointing, un unction. Okay, to anoint, to rub. Okay. So anyhow, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, um, uh, yeah. And I hope you guys are doing uh, well. Uh, don't forget to, again, if you like, comment, rate, and subscribe to support the channel or join us in the Facebook group, American Aborigines Unchained. Okay. And the only thing I ask is you be someone that agrees to disagree, brings your information that hopefully you uh, have researched or you have been guided to. Um, and don't knock so much on people 
um, other people's information because again, we're here to bring random things out that we have been, we as those that are in this consciousness have been pointed to this information that's going to be sometimes far fetched from what you think you know. And that's no reason to dismiss someone's information because even though you may be able to find something within that information that will help you better see or someone else better see something. So if you don't agree, I'm not saying you can't comment under a video, but damn, you don't have to take up the whole person's time that's trying to display something and get other people that want to know to be able to comment without feeling like they're going to be badgered. That's what this group was opened up for. And if someone can't follow by those guidelines and just leave it alone, then this group is not for you. So again, um, I am adding more people in, but since it's growing a little bit faster than I can keep up with, I am going to start cutting some people down. I'm going to start bringing it back to basics. And if I see someone in there being argumentative and not bringing forth information, I'm just going to start getting rid of people at this point. So. Because it's just going to cause more confusion. We won't get anywhere. And that's the main thing is for this group to thrive on a uh, ascending level. Okay. So again, I, I, I appreciate all of you guys that are in there putting in work and doing these things. I'm doing work on the other side to get you guys another group that is a sister group of this group that will be um, open to the public so that you can share the stuff. Okay. So um, yes. Um, Thanks for your, again, uh, gratitude uh, to everyone who is supporting uh, their mission first, right? Um, and then also taking time, because I know it, it takes a lot of time um, to uh, come into our group and, and, and display or share the information. Um, all right. So see you guys later. Take care.